So let me ask you in that, in, and when you started out, did you use anything that you learned in real estate school? And by the way, Real estate school in New Jersey is two weeks. You have to take a certain hour, number of classes and then you also have to pass a class with a 70 or better and then pass the state exam with a 75 or better to become a licensed realtor in the state of New Jersey. So that two week class, did it really kind of prep you for what you're doing now? Not particularly. We learned kind of the legal side of it. So, you know, the real estate commission rules and how to not get fined when you're in the business. <laughs> but, you know, going through actually being in the business and being a realtor, it's day by day, I learn five new things a day. Right, I agree. It's, it's, it's interesting, really who you work with really does matter. And that's, I find interesting. <laughs> so, but tell me about your perception. Research on, you know, I watched a million YouTube videos on like real life expectations. Nice. So I kind of had an idea that, you know, paycheck when it come right away, right? And it's not consistent, but right. you know, you still think it's easy money and it's it's not. Right, right, That that is the perception I, I find. Um, I've met a lot of people in this business that come in and honestly think you put your feet up on the table and have a lot of conversations and it's just going to flow from there. It is not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of emotions that come into play and that I think takes the biggest toll, right? Because there's so much emotion. Mm -hmm. It's usually the largest transaction of someone's life to date um, and you're involved in that intrinsically. And so you can make a difference for the good or the bad. And there's a lot of roadblocks. I like to think of myself as someone who is good at negotiating and good at removing roadblocks, right? And that's, I think you're learning <laughs> that day to day and that you're having lots of conversations around that, right? Yeah. So, and I, I hear that, you know, we're in our sales training, we're talking about different things, but specifics come up and they're never the same, mm -hmm. are they? Nope, never, <laughs> never ever. Right, and so it becomes a, I'll never forget, I had someone say to me, just tell me everything I need to know. I'm like, <laughs> um, no, every situation literally is gonna be different. Mm -hmm. You might get a, well, I had something similar, mm -hmm. or here's an, an avenue to look at, but everything is different. Yeah, right? which, but, which has been good because when there are situations that I'm like, oh, okay, this was similar, it's like you can kind of bounce off ideas, but you know, it's good that I have a team that kind of, I can go back to and say, you know, I know I had this before, is this going to work this time? Yeah, no, 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 and having those conversations on a daily basis, sometimes multiple times a day, especially <laughs> when you're negotiating multiple offers, which is a great place to be. Mm -hmm. I would have killed for multiple offers in early in this business. I got in as it was sliding off a cliff, so it's, uh, it's awesome. So tell me a little bit about what you expect to your life to look like maybe in a year or even five years in this business you know i'm very determined i uh, you know i hope within a year or two i can kind of average at least two deals a month mm -hmm. which i know is very ambitious as a one to two years in as a real estate agent but um yeah i'm kind of trying to figure out how i can multitask and you know be able to do at least two deals a month and my goal is for you to do at least two as well so mm -hmm. i think that's great and with a team behind you it's very possible mm -hmm. um that makes the difference for sure and i have to say for someone who is young and pretty and i don't don't take that the <laughs> wrong way because in this business that can almost be a detriment mm -hmm. because people don't really think about what's up here and you have just dug in and impressed me with how thoughtful you are and how ambitious you are um, but I, I think that that you have to understand you're gonna get knocked down a lot mm -hmm. people are gonna know show you people are gonna tell you one thing and do another and it's your job to kind of figure that out mm -hmm. um, and not get knocked down and not get back up right so there's a lot of that rejection in any sales job is big this one the stakes are even a little bit bigger because it's such a big investment and so really knowing that it's a numbers game knowing that people are not a number but as an agent, you have to be cognizant that numbers do matter, right? And so um, there's a lot that goes into it, but I like to hear that you have some ambition and I'd like to push even further with this team. I think that's very possible <laughs> for sure.